Hey everybody, this is the Frustrated Canadian, and welcome to episode 2 of our uh, our new series. I, I don't believe I have named it yet. Um, I have no idea what this is gonna, the series is going to be called. Uh, the first video should tell you. I'm recording this in the second video, and I haven't determined what the, <laughs> the series is called yet. So it'll say in the, in the description and in the video title, but I have no idea what... Um, what this is right now, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually, I actually look confused. Um, in the last episode, again, we we did an overview of how to start your town. We did a little bit of a, a little bit of work through on how to like set up the city, figure out how to not bankrupt yourself in the first five minutes, and now our goal is we don't have enough workers. As you can see, here, so this is another thing enough workers. Um, but now the purpose. So we created this little spot here. And I think we're going to turn this right here into a park. But before we get into that, let's us deal with our population issues. We are obviously not having a good time. We don't have enough citizens in our city. So let's get some more. Let's get it. Um, I hope everybody who uh, is tuning in today is having themselves a great day. Uh, let's do a little curvy road here. Kind of have it come off like that. We're gonna have it come through, and then we're gonna have a straight shot here. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's been having a great time, and hope you're enjoying the the series, even though it's literally just started. Um, it's not really very far through yet, as you all can very obviously tell. Nonetheless, I hope you learned a lot in that first video, and today I hope you learned a lot about designing yourselves uh, a little park and continuing on with the development of your city. Um, this is a, a, a like a learning kind of series. I'm going to be learning with you guys. I want to get better at this game. I'm not perfect at it yet, um, and I think there's a lot I can learn. So I think big win of this series is you'll be learning it with me. And we get to enjoy our time as I fumble around and you guys can, can mock me all you want because I am kind of kind of not amazing at this game so and I'm okay with that I I just enjoy I just enjoy designing cities I think it's a good time we're gonna leave this shoot should we leave this open nah what I might do instead is when we're zoning in I might just leave a little gap there no who am I kidding? No gaps. We need to fill this this in. I need people. I know. Greedy. That's me. Alright, let's get this park going. So, step one, folks. You're going to come into this guy here, District, and you're going to say, alright, let's paint a park area. And then you're going to click in, and you're going to start drawing it in. This is going to be a pretty small little park. This isn't, isn't going to be a huge town. Um, I mean, I could always expand it as well. I don't I don't know where to, because that's industrial. We can't expand it there. That's people. Yeah, I mean, it may not work. We're going to go for a small park, though, So, because we don't have a ton of money. So we're going to go for a little park gate right here. Um, and one thing I really despise about this is that it makes you look at that. I don't really care about that. Let's get that there. So we got our first park. Congratulations. Cozy Hill has reached level one. Let's get it. We're going to do a few little park side gates. We're gonna make this a very easily accessible little park. Step two for me, because I, I tend to <laughs> be dumb and I tend to zone in stuff. So what you can do is in this thing, in this park tab, you can actually design, take fences, and um, these fences stop you from being able to zone. So like, I, I always get confused myself and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh shoot, I just zoned a bunch of city, like human, like houses. I'll be like, oh crap, I just zoned, like, zoned a bunch of houses into my town. Or into my park, and then the park looks, breaks, and it's just a bad time. So, my second step of this process is to do this. Fence it off. So now if I say I want to come in and zone, I can't do nothing here. This is a, this is a park only. So, so I think what we're going to do for a park here is we're going to take the pathway... I kind of want to create a little area in the middle here, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a little cube. Uh, I think I messed up. Nope, that's good. Okay. And this will come in straight like that. 
You can come in straight like that. Uh, this guy will go into there. It'll just create a very central spot for uh, people to live, or not live, but people to go to. So you come up like this and take a, a firm 90 degree angle and then you'll come like this and do that. So it creates a nice little park. And then what we'll do to make it look better, go into this pathway thing. We're going to do a little some uh, gravel, gravel paths, and we'll just do this. To make it look a little less perfect, we're just going to take turn off our snapping and we're just going to have these little pathways come through like this. Because now people can easily just meander their way through the park, they can go see different things. They're not necessarily constrained to these really like busy pathways. Um, they don't have to come through the center here. Uh, it just makes it look good. And we'll have that one up there and we'll have this guy come through here. And we'll have it connect there. And we can have a little pathway kind of connect through. No, I think we're good on that front. Uh, we're making a good amount of money. Let me just zone in um, a little bit more <sighs> commercial. I forgot the word for a second there. Yikes. And we'll just do a little bit here. We know this is all going to be commercial going up to there, so we'll just continue on that commercial. I'm going to put a road here just to make sure that no one... Oh, shoot. Wait. We got no snapping. There we go. Perfect. We'll have this come up to here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a blocky looking town right now. Don't worry, I don't only do block block towns. Um, so, don't worry, folks. Uh, Alright, back to our park. So, now that we have all of this stuff, let us put in a park plaza. And we are going to put this near the center. Unfortunately, nothing will fit in there right now. Um, a park plaza will put, like, right there. What else can we put in here? Ooh, let's put in a, a little park cafe. Why don't we put this in the center right here? It's kind of like the perfect spot for it park what restrooms let's put it over here by the center as well we are running out oh we have plenty of money okay wait what is this uh info booth well since this is the center of the town or the area we'll put this here so this nice little busy area in the center we can't really do much else but what i think we're gonna do is we're just gonna let's beautify this so you see how these all these little pathways and stuff we have little benches um we don't have any benches on these so Let's let's uh, make this look a little nicer. Let's let's make it look. Let's detail this. Um, and this, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do any fast forwarding or anything of that sort in this series. I think this is gonna be a very like a very uncut series. We're gonna. You guys are just gonna have to listen to me as I talk. I know. Blasphemy. It's awful. I know, but. I think, uh, like, the detailing, I don't know. Maybe I can do detailing in my free time. But I kind of just want to go through the thought process of how I detail. Um, I want it to look good. I don't want it to just look like a, a silly little park. Get a couple signs in here just so people know where they are and which way they need to go. Okay, I'm going to put a little sign there. And a sign there. Perfect. Uh, we got lights there. I don't know if we should put lights along these, because these are kind of like darker pathways. They're meant to be in the forest, a little more treed. Uh, since, oh, oh, we made it to a boom town. Another area, transport, taxis, ooh, trams. I love trams. Trams is part of the AC weather DLC, I think, and I freaking love the trams. They're such a fun time. Okay, let me go back to what I was doing. Okay, uh, we got plenty of money now, which is good. We're going to create a little bench there here. Do I have anything that would... We're going to put a couple benches, like, right there. And can I put these on top? Yes, I can. There we go. A couple garbage cans are on the edge there, because we're going to have people coming in here to eat. Why not put some flower beds along the edge? Can I, is there other ones? Hell yeah, there are. Actually, I think I, I want to do it different. Um, I don't like the looks of those ones. Let's do... Yeah, would these look better, do you think? They might actually. What is this? Oh, a food stall. Hell yeah, let's put this like right... Where the hell's the front? 
Is this the front? Looks like the front. Let's put this like right there. I wish we could zoom in closer so you guys could see this. I also can't see it. We have a little cafe right here. This is gonna be a nice little park. Get a little sandbox for our children to play at. No, we'll leave it like that, I think. Cannon, we don't need cannons. Okay, let's do these. Luckily, these can go on top of each other, so let's do it like that. And we're just gonna put one more under there. Perfect, okay. All right, let's get this right there. Want to go a little further, and this was probably gonna go through, because um, I don't think it truly matters. There we go. Look at that. Now people can come into this. You can come buy your food. And it looks really good. Um, and then if you are ever curious about how to see what level your park is, my recommendation is to click on here, click on park info. And okay, you can see our income is 460, expenses are 216. We need a lot more visitors until levels up, but the entertainment is high enough. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss some, we're gonna start beautifying this um, using trees and rocks. <laughs> Weird to say, I know, you're probably like rocks, what the hell, man? Like, trust me. We have prop anarchy. Uh, that I might use here. I'm not 100% sure if I'll need it yet. It's gonna delete stuff. I don't know if I want big rocks in this park. We're gonna go for smaller rocks. So if you do Shift P, or Shift P, there we go. And Control A. There we go. So Shift P is prop anarchy. So that means trees can go on top of each other. Your props um, can more easily go with each other, which makes Designs way easier. Uh, and we're gonna do trees. So, what kind of tree is primary land? So, I'm not very good trees. I don't like those trees very much. We're gonna try to do something a little different. <laughs> Palm trees definitely don't fit onto this seam. I kinda like the look of these trees, but we're not really in a pine setting. Doesn't mean we can't change it though, I guess. This is a vanilla map. Um, so let's think here. Palm tree. Ugly tree. Hmm. I think I like the look of the tall tree, these trees most. So yeah, we're gonna toss a whole bunch of these trees in. There's also mods you could buy um, that allow you to... The trees will rotate so they look different wherever they go. Looks a little too perfect having it this way. So, oh, I do not I do not like these trees. That does not fit on this map at all. Oh my god, okay. These trees fit a little bit... A little bit better. Uh, no, I don't like these ones either. I think we're gonna have to go for these short guys. So yeah, we're, what we're doing right now is we're basically just trying to, um, let's turn off, uh, prop anarchy off. Yep, okay, perfect. Oh, our park level up, so there, see? Uh, here's another thing, so parks will level up. The higher level they are, the more things you can actually do with these parks. Um, and the more, more attractive you make them, the more tourists will wanna come. It's very good. Like you, you definitely want to level your parks up as much as you can. Let's get some flowers in here. Like it's gonna be a nice little park. It's not here to be a evil park. Some wild rose. Are those wild roses or what? Whatever the hell that means. Okay. Get some tufts of grass in here. As you can see, like, you can do a ton of, um, a ton of work on these small little things to, like, make them look better, get more people moving in, like, I personally, like, I like the idea of making these cities look really good, so I like to come in with, like, as much as I can, um, 
just toss in a freaking ginormous rock like what sorry digress let's get some let's get some bigger rocks in here yeah we're gonna have there's gonna be rocks in a park this just not gonna have no rocks and kind of want to have some stuff around these here looks good looks good wow we're already 15 minutes in and we are literally just designing a park well I hope you guys have learned a lot um, on the park design um, I hope this has been illuminating for for some um, if you've never done this before it might illuminate you so these oh no we'll go into the new buildings we just got so we got a chessboard and two park piers so say like this is on the water you could toss a pier into the water um, as you have noticed there is no water in this park so that's obviously not gonna happen so what we can do instead so we can build this chessboard but damn is it big well you pass right here some that'll, that'll get rid of that rock unfortunately but we can always build a new rock in here so let's check that out. So what's our park level at? So our park's sitting at... Our entertainment's great, like, we don't really need to worry about entertainment right now. We just need to focus on, um... What's the word? Um... Yeah, we just need to focus on getting more people into the park, I guess. I don't know why I, my brain didn't like that. My brain was not having it whatsoever. Uh, let's... Yeah, I think we're probably good on the... Uh, we were gonna put the rock back, actually. Hold up a sec. Shift P. Control A. Boom. Shift P and Control A. I don't like having prop anarchy on all the time. I think it kind of, like... Yeah, kind of ruins it a little bit. So now, if you're curious about the effects... Look at this. The land value is going up in this area. You have a park. You have uh, lots of, like, nice little areas. Um, if you look at our levels, we're going to start seeing things level up, because as you can see here, we have some buildings leveling up around the park. Um, and then if we go into parks and leisure, look at the leisure. It just ex exponentially increases. So it's definitely worth your time to design these sorts of things. Uh, we don't have a cemetery yet. I, I, I totally didn't even think about that. Let's do... I like the idea of having like a cemetery area, like an area that's like down in the trees. So let's let's finish this area off here. Oh shoot, that did not do what I wanted to do. All right, let's just go across over. We're gonna do a dirt road. And I think I wanna have it coming perp in parallel to these guys. So let's go here, oh, go here. What we're gonna do is replace our cemetery right place a cemetery right it's not far away enough but fortunately I kind of screwed on that let's do it like that then we'll have these roads come like this and what we're gonna do to make this look really cool is what I want I want to have a lot of trees so I guess yeah you're also getting to learn how to do cemetery planning now as well folks holy crap where did these trees come from Any big trees that I can use? These are big can like these are too big. These are like redwoods, so I don't need those. I kinda wanna have I wanna create this like a cemetery. Area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the gates. And I'm gonna actually put some gates down. Um I think that would make this like oh, shoot. Okay, I think I have to do this. Like this. Unfortunately, it's not gonna let me do it the way I wanna do it. Because uh, we don't we don't need people zoning right beside the cemetery. That, that'd be freaking like, And I know me, I, I will definitely do it. This is a little too far up, so let's do this. We're hearing people dying. Let's go like that. And we're going to do it on this side as well. Uh, we'll have it go over like this and to there. That's angled so weirdly. Mamma mia, okay, let's, I wanna, I wanna get to go straight, can I snap? Ah, uh, no, I shouldn't snap it. Bang. Okay. Is that more or less straight? If I, hmm. Straight. Uh, turn this on. Uh, 
That's straight, okay. Let me just go across like this and like that. Perfect, okay. Don't need this pathway anymore. Good. Ooh, we don't have any water connection over here. Okay, good to know. Well, yeah, you guys are really getting the fast course on designing cemeteries right now, so you're welcome. This is not on purpose. There we go. And what we are gonna do, we might just toss some rocks. Small little rocks. Not big rocks, small rocks. Maybe I'll see if I can download a mod that will allow me to um, place, uh, like, maybe I'll see if I can find, like, some cemetery stuff, like, make it look really good. I think it would look very cool, um, if we really put some more thought into it, like, yeah, what I think would look cool along this would be trees like this. So as people come in, it's just these really tall trees. You know you're coming into a darker area with uh, dead people. It kind of reminds me of like those movies where like there's dead people, like not dead people, like a horror movie where like you come into a cemetery and there's a lot of trees. It's dark. It's foreboding. Like it's kind of how I want this to look. I want it to be very foreboding. I want it to be very dark. I want it to feel raw and emotional is kind of how I'm envisioning this right now so I hope you all understand what I'm doing with this if not it's okay you'll see what I mean when I'm done because like when you think about going to a funeral in a movie it's always dark it's foreboding it's sad it's a visceral event and we kind of want this to mimic that in a sense Like, oh yeah, I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure you understand. I can't see you guys' faces or see your, your reactions at all, so. There we go, and we're gonna have the trees come through here as well. Did the music stop? I think it did. Hold up, one sec. There we go. Sorry about that. Let me just, uh, there we go. Okay, sorry, alt tabbing a lot, and alt tabbing makes your keyboard get all wonked up here. Yeah, we're gonna finish this off here. I think that leaves it as a good, um, little kind of video here. Like, so what I was trying to say is, like, you come in and you, like, come into this little area. It's dark, it's moody, it's foreboding, and then you come in, and then there's two. Nice little churches with some graveyards. And what we're going to do is we're going to design these graveyards as graveyards. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a mod or some downloads or some stuff like that that will allow us to design those a little bit better because I think that would look super cool. Um, and I think that would just be such a such a fun thing to design. Honestly, let's get a high school on here. Let's turn off. Okay. Yeah. So I think that would just make it, it just it makes it feel more dark over here. Like people when they come in, they have to drive in and there's ghosts and dead things and I don't know, just stuff like that. Like it makes it feel, this looks, it looks cool in my opinion. And you're coming off of the highway and you're driving by these, you're coming out of the town, you have to drive by the funeral. Oh, hits differently. Ooh, that goes from three to two. Probably fix that and make it a little less shitty. There we go. Um, that's a light. So yeah, I don't know. We don't need to deal with that stuff right now. The kind of the goal here was work on our park, which as you can see now, we are getting a lot of people visiting. We're making a lot of money. Um, and yeah, the side side hustle today was building a cool like funeral area and getting everything all all good and good and ready so um, I think on our next video we can expand again I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet like do I want to go over here do we want to expand this town out so we can get more people living in this area here do we want to 
build over here. Like we, we have unlock, we have unlocking areas. I'm very intrigued by this area over here. This is kind of the area I want to go next. So, I think for the next video, we're really going to focus in on. Mm, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. So yeah, stay tuned on the next video. Maybe we're going to start designing some new stuff or up, up, open up a new area and try to figure out where we want to go next with this this project here so hope everybody enjoyed this video i'm going to try to keep the videos to between 20 to 40 minutes 40 minutes would be a long video so 20 to 30 minutes is typically going to be the goal if if i find a, a build that needs to be a little bit longer than 30 minutes maybe i'll go to 40 but those will be rare um and you don't need to worry about seeing a lot of those videos um i don't want to bore you all with long ass videos that you don't uh it gets, I, I, it gets boring watching really long videos so i'd much rather you keep you guys interested in a shorter video that shows builds and shows how things are uh, gonna look so i hope you all enjoyed the video and uh this is the frustrated canadian and i will see you all in the flip-flop i hope you have a great day a great evening a great late night, great morning, whatever is going on in your life. I hope it's good. And uh, I'll see you all in the, uh, the third installment of the series. Cheers, everybody.